Hello everybody. Hello, hello. So this is my video on uh, all the election mail that I received for the 2020 general election. Um, I went ahead and took a Sharpie and marked out my address. And I guess the other, only other thing you need to know for context is that I'm in the Denver metro area. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Um, I made this video two years ago, and uh, you guys can compare the level of mail that I got, because it's actually pretty big. Uh, in a previous video, I mentioned these two ads. Uh, the, this one's about Tabor. It says, don't let them crack the code. Um, <clears throat> Tabor's the Taxpayer Bill of Rights here in Colorado. Basically, uh, my explanation of it is it's the Republicans... Uh, passed a law saying that every time uh, we want to spend more money or raise taxes we have to put it to a vote of the people because the people are never going to vote to raise their own taxes. So it's kind of a psychological ploy. Every time uh, legislators want to raise more money uh, it, it basically it keeps the the budget at the same size as, as it's been pretty much since they instituted Tabor. And uh, it's, it's just a psychological trick, and it keeps uh, legislators from being able to do their job. So, of course, I vote against anything that is Tabor-related. So they're saying vote yes on 116 and 117. Uh, I'm probably voting against them. And, you know, it's paid for by Prosperity Colorado. Oh, sorry, Americans for Prosperity Colorado Issue Committee. Americans for Prosperity... That's a, a big group that I don't often agree with. Um, very right wing. But those two ads, uh, this one seeing politicians have been trying to break in for years. You know, they're uh, trying to break Tabor. Yeah, because Tabor makes it so uh, politicians can't do their jobs. That's why they would try to be breaking it. All right. So here's a very colorful political ad from Shannon Bird. She says she knows Colorado's best days are still ahead. Uh, Re-elector, such a giant full page uh, little flyer. Um, yeah, very pricey, but uh, very likely that I'll, I'll vote for her. Do -do -do. Well, I did vote for her. I'm, I'm making this video uh, the day after the November 3rd election. Um, right now, as, as far as context of when I'm making this video, uh, Biden has 264, and to get to 270, he needs Nevada. That's what I'm hanging on. This is like 4.30-ish. So uh, that's the time that I'm making this. But this, this is more of a, a timeless video. This is a uh, uh, an ad from Joe Biden saying, because your health care matters. And then you open it, it says, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have a plan to protect and improve our health care. His plan is give every American access to affordable health insurance, provide affordable quality health care, stop the, the abuse of power by prescription drug companies, ensure health care is a right to all, not a privilege for just a few. Um... Big ad. Nice glossy paper. Um, this stack is, is, is going to be thick, so I'm going quick. Um, this one says, President Trump is filling our families. It's time to vote like our lives depend on it. And if you flip it over, uh, it says 200,000 Americans dead. Actually, right now it's closer to like 240. So that's how long this has been sitting in the mail basket for me to make this video. Um, losers, suckers, and uh, why should I go to that cemetery? It's filled with losers. President Donald Trump in 2018. Uh, paid for by the Colorado Democratic Party. There's that. Another one from Shannon Bird with the uh, uh, watercolor motif to it just like the last one. This one's a little less colorful. Oh, it's, it's only 
one page it doesn't open. But still. Uh, getting results. Hmm. This one says, uh, Amendment B is vital to Colorado's firefighters. So vote yes on Amendment B. Because, you know, firefighters. First responders, it says. Amendment B is the solution. Um, it's endorsed by all these different things. Basically, uh, it's about property taxes and uh, just limiting caps that have been placed on uh, assessments. And uh, basically, our schools are bleeding as far as uh, the, the amount of money that they're not getting because of the Gallagher Amendment and Tabor. And it's just... You know, a horrible uh, thing that we face is is that we have to actually vote in favor of increasing our own taxes in order to have our legislators uh, increase our taxes, even tiny incremental bits. So, um, yeah. All you people who don't live in Colorado, don't follow Colorado's lead by passing a Tabor bill yourselves. This one's paid for by the Colorado Democratic Party. It says, we must address the climate challenges we face with a fierce sense of urgency. And that was Governor Hickenlooper. He's now our senator because uh, he won last night. Um, there's another quote from John Hickenlooper as Governor John Hickenlooper. Our governor is Jared Polis right now, but Hickenlooper won the Senate. So... Um, See, he's been smeared in in the TV ads, actually, for uh, not being totally against fracking. And here he is with uh, solar panels and uh, wind turbines and, you know, a clean lake, sorry, clean river right beside him. Um, yeah. And then he wants to do job creating with clean energy jobs. Okay. Another yes on B for Colorado to repeal the Gallagher Act. Um, Amendment B freezes property tax rates for everyone, ending Gallagher shifts that reduce funding to local firefighters, local schools, and other local services. Um, if we're about to have a housing crash, then people's homes would be uh, not reassessed at a lower value and that you would still have the tax of pro probably the higher value um, but here's the thing schools are hurting <laughs> and uh, in order to raise funds for schools you do have to raise taxes a bit and uh, yeah That's especially in the times of COVID and them having to adjust and, and redesign schools uh, they're hurting um, this one is just like a, a flyer from the county clerk and recorder, and it's just talking about, like, there's there's additional precautions put in because of COVID-19. Because it's 2020, in case you're watching this, like, some other year, um, COVID-19, it was a very big thing in 2020. <clears throat> this one says... Vote yes on Prop 118 for paid family leave. I did. Uh, oh, sign our digital pledge card here. Oh, it's got a nice little QR code. You could just, like, take a picture with your phone and, you know, sign up to uh, pledge to vote for it, I guess. Paid for by Colorado Families First. Okay. What's this say on the back? Can they count on you to vote yes on Prop 118? Uh... I did. This one is a voter guide from New Era, Colorado. And let me just... It's the first time I'm opening it. Um, oh. How and where to register to vote. How to use this guide. Um, let's turn this open. Okay. Uh, what... This office does in 15 words or less. 
uh, president signs federal bills into law. No oh, okay. This is like basic, basic voting shit. Um, do they support immediately reopening the economy during the COVID-19 pandemic and withdrawing from the World Health Organization? Joe Biden, no. Donald Trump, yes. Black Lives Matter movement and laws that make easier to make hold cops accountable for police brutality. Joe Biden, yes. Donald Trump, no. Achieving 100% clean renewable energy by the year 2050. Joe Biden, yes. Donald Trump, no. Okay. Seems like uh, things that I would care about. These uh, these things right here. Um. Then it's got the Senate, it's got, uh, it's got all the different amendments that we had to vote for. Um, but they're telling you how to vote. This one says, we say vote no. We say vote no. We say vote no. Um, I would say this is a liberal voter guide. But... Uh, that's just based on them voting against uh, abortion restrictions and Tabor crap. Progressive Turnout Projects says, thank you, your vote really matters. And this one, they actually like had to hand fill out some stuff for me. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Uh, oh yeah, I answer the phone sometimes because, <laughs> you know, I'm crazy like that. And they gave me a thank you card. Great. Make every vote equal on November 3rd. Join me, your Colorado neighbor, in voting. Yes, on the national popular vote. I did, but I don't really know that it's going to do anything. And, uh, yeah, personalized card from Ann for Coloradans for national popular vote. Next, we've got... We're going to build our economy back better. From Joe Biden. Um, it's time to imagine a new American economy uh, and make it happen. Paid for by Colorado Democratic Party. Don't even let them near it. Tabor, keeping your money safe since 1992. <laughs> because, you know... It, it's like a Brinks truck, right? Armored car, keeping your money safe. Paid for by Americans for prosperity. You know I don't I don't agree with it, but it says politicians are after more of your tax dollars. Well, yeah, because we have the same fucking budget that we had twenty fucking years ago. Because of Tabor. Fuck you guys. All right. This one says, Cory Gardner says one thing about the outdoors in Colorado. He lost last night, by the way, to John Hickenlooper. Um, it's a tale of two Corys. Open it up. But what he does indoors in Washington is a whole different story. Cory Gardner falls in line with Donald Trump and hangs Colorado out to dry. Here's another one. There are two Cory Gardners, but they have one thing in common. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Cory Gardner has been with me 100% of the time. There was no waiver. <laughs> Cory Gardner and Donald Trump are wrong for Colorado. Oh, and they put MAGA hats on him. Photoshopped on. Uh, they're cartoony, too. Like, that's not even good Photoshop. I mean, he, he is, a like, a MAGA supporter, but, like, they, they Photoshop those on. He doesn't wear them like that. Uh, yeah. It's a tale of two Corys. This is not a drill. If we don't elect Democrats, <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> This is, this is like poster quality, too. I swear. Um, oh, Ed Perlmutter. Voted for him. Yeah. Perlmutter for Colorado. I mean, 
Okay. Uh, President Obama has endorsed John Hickenlooper for Senate. Okay. Paid for by the Colorado Democratic Party. Um, whether you run, walk, or drive to the polls, return your ballot and vote. Because, of course, that's Joe Biden running, right? Or, like, a little sprinting. He's fucking 80. Nice little polo symbol on his shirt. See, it's an actual polo shirt. But, yeah, he's not running. <laughs> okay, there he is with his aviator glasses. You still have time. Run, walk, or drive to the polls. I can believe he's driving that, too. Because that's an old car. And, you know, he's old. Vote for these people for commissioners. Colorado Democratic Party. Uh, local races have local impact. That kind of looks local. Oh, uh, wait, wait. I know that little building right there. Yeah, I've seen that. Okay. Okay. John Hickenlooper might have fun breaking the law, but he's hurting Colorado. <laughs> Look at him, like, photoshopped in the plane. The only governor convicted of violating state ethics laws in Colorado history. Illegal gifts. Maximum penalty. Sold positions for big corporate checks. Illegal corporate jet flights toward Europe in a Maserati. Is it illegal to drive a Maserati in Europe? Um... Okay, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> your neighbors all plan on voting and all agree that paid family leave is best for everyone. Uh, vote yes on Prop 118. I did. John Hickenlooper could have a master's degree in how to be a career politician. Um. <laughs> John Hickenlooper, shady politician. <laughs> He's, it, it looks like a degree with a little seal with. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Joe and Kamala will be will build back better. I don't like that slogan because it sounds like be better and that's the the first lady Melania Trump's organization. But build back better. Okay. Uh, they will do better educated workforce, job training, debt-free community college. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who can you count on to unite us? Joe Biden. Reelect this commissioner because our neighbors are no place for big oil. And thanks to Ava Henry, they're staying out. Okay. Or it could be just that they haven't found any oil when they when they did their test drilling. But yeah, uh, if you guys don't know, when they set up these uh, fracking sites, they put up these fake walls first so that you can't see what the whole work crew is doing, and it kind of baffles the sound of all the machinery back there. And then when the fracking site is complete, they take down the wall. This part that uh, puts the the drill stems down gets taken out, and it, it's uh, a little less of an eyesore, but while they're doing it, they, they put up secrecy walls. Um, maybe in your neck of the woods you don't have fracking like we do. But Weld County, it's pretty bad up there. And rifle and parachute are horrible. Um, your paycheck could use an extra layer of security. Tabor. <laughs> Vote yes on 116 and, and 117? Nope. I voted no on both of those. 
You guys think this stack of mail is a little bit ridiculous by now? It is. Isn't it? Shannon Bird listens, cares, and gets results for us. Okay. Yeah. I'd vote for. I did. Um, let's see. Uh, this is for the Center for Voter Information, and they actually, I, I, I marked this out with my trusty uh, marker here. Um, they knew when I had voted and when I didn't, except for they got one of them wrong. So I'm wondering if in the 2014 general election, my ballot didn't count somehow, because I did vote then. Um, so... I might have to look that up. It, I mean, it was probably inconsequential. Everybody who I voted for won, so I don't know. I might want to look into that. But uh, yeah, had a voting record for the other people in the same place where I'm living. Hmm. It's weird how they they do that so they get you to pressure each other. And this is another letter from the same place, Center for Voter Information. And they gave me a voting score right here of average. Uh, yeah, maybe it was just because I was living in a different place when I voted that one time. You know? Maybe. Anyways. Uh, this one says, Healthcare and the economy are top issues for Coloradans. Uh, this is local election information. This is a really weird design for a flyer. It's just black and white. Uh, they want you to vote for Shannon Bird and... Uh, no statement from the person running against her. Okay. I don't even know why that flyer was even made. It was ugly. Um, this one's got Jared Polis on it, and he's endorsing the old governor, John Hickenlooper, for Senate. Um, okay. This is uh, Colorado Democratic Party again. We've got this one shot at this, and we've got to have your vote. And, of course, they put Barack on there. Even though it's Biden Harris, they're putting pictures of Barack because he's really popular, right? Um, today, I actually learned that Biden set the new record for most votes ever gotten by a presidential candidate. Um, he's up over 70 million last I checked. And uh, Barack's record was 69 million. So, command and respect. And he's got his aviator glasses on. That's nice. Oh, and there's uh, his son, Bo, who died, but there's him in the uniform. And there's Joe Biden with a little bit more hair. Tested and ready to lead, except for it was his son who was in the military, not him. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. Not, not dissing him for his son being in the military. Our climate is in peril. We must treat climate change like the existential crisis it is. John Hickelup. Okay, I agree with that. Do, do, do. Bold action on the environment and the climate. Um, they're getting closer and closer. And then <laughs> Bank of the Colorado Taxpayer. Protect Colorado taxpayers from Americans for Prosperity, Colorado. And basically, once again, they're trying to get me to vote against tax increases when, you know, every taxpayer-funded service is underfunded in Colorado because of Tabor. Fuck Tabor. Yes on B for teachers and schools. Amendment B ends painful cuts. Painful, painful. To Tabor did that. And so did the Gallagher Amendment. This one says, Take nothing for granted. Vote. 
and based on the, the outcome of the election right now, I'm saying this is so prescient. <laughs> I like this one. Um, they said it could couldn't happen. It did. Don't risk it. Vote. This is the best flyer ever. This one right here. I'm gonna save that one. So, um, this is I believe in Joe Biden and I believe in you. More Barack Obama pictures. Joe Biden made me a better president with Kamala Harris. Joe will build this country back better than ever. Okay. Sell me on Joe, not Barack. Barack's not running. All right. We need a responsible plan that doesn't rush reopening. I trust Shannon Bird to get it right. She's also using the watercolor motif again. Um, I like to paint. That's what all this crap is on my desk underneath all this stuff. You know, paint and sawdust. Um, awesome. John Hickenlooper's energy plan is bad for Colorado. Jobs destroyed. School suffering. Gas prices up. Ruin our children's education. Ban fracking. Eliminate 2,300 Colorado jobs. Reduce funding for local school districts by 100 million. Increase gas prices by $2 per gallon. What I have to say about this is COVID has destroyed those Colorado jobs anyway. Um... Gas prices are down, and when they're down under $3.50 a gallon, uh, fracking is no longer uh, worth it here in Colorado. So with gas prices well under three fifty, I don't see those jobs coming back anytime soon. So it's not his plan that's going to do it. It's, uh, it's already been done. If you didn't want COVID, we should you know have a leader nationally that uh, tries to handle COVID and then you know then we wouldn't have all these economic problems. Uh, Re-elect this commissioner because uh, oh we want to make playgrounds safe from oil drilling. Mm. Big oil can't frack our neighborhoods. She'll stop it. Okay. This one says we have got to vote Joe Biden like our lives depend on it. And that's Michelle Obama. Very popular. Wow. Way more popular than Joe Biden, probably. Um, but then at least they have a picture of Joe and Kamala on the back. At least. Because that last one was, you know, was all Barack. And no pictures of the actual people that it's for. So I like this one a little bit better than that other one. All right. I got two of these. Um, one of them, see, they, they're the same thing on this side, right? But one of them is uh, Cory Gardner versus John Hickenlooper, and it's pro Hickenlooper. And the other one is, uh, you know, vote no on the the citizen qualification of electors. Uh, basically, an extra law to uh, make it sure that. Uh, people who vote are citizens. We don't need it. It's kind of redundant, but you know, I guess it was there to send a message to all those illegals. You know, um, whew, almost done. And uh, this is uh, it's just good business for Shannon Bird, Relector, still with the watercolor motif, liking that. Um, see what did this one say never opened it it's still kind of gummy let me open it off screen to make sure that uh oh hold on hold on it's got uh stuff here bringing out my trusty trusty sharpie it says I voted 2020, 2018, 2016. It doesn't have my 2014 vote when I did vote and 2012, but I know that I voted uh, in a different place. So, uh, but just for like that one glitch in their system, I'm only average and not like perfect. 
fuckers. But it's just pressuring me to vote by giving me a score. What's this one? So this is just a bunch of information about uh, historically underrepresented members of Congress. Uh, millennials are underrepresented, uh, people of color are underrepresented, and women are underrepresented. Okay. Gotcha. Well. So, there you are. Uh, that's all the mail that I got in the 2020 uh, primary election season after the, sorry, not primary, uh, in the general election season after the primary stuff was all over. All that stuff came in the mail, mostly in the last three weeks. But it was a lot of paper to go through. Uh, thank you for watching. And... Uh, I think in a couple of days, I'm going to make a video uh, showing how far off I was on my predictions for the general election. And I had I made a video asking everyone to give their prediction of like how many electoral college votes Joe Biden would get. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll maybe make a graph for, for everyone, you know, so that you can see uh, how far off you know, each person was. It's just for fun, you know. But we'll compare notes. Uh, see you in a little while.